Hey, what's up guys? I got a quick uh, Scream Factory unboxing for you here. Um, I finally got in uh, Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 2. It is, today is, what's today? Today is Thursday the 13th. This was released nationwide on the 11th, and I pre-ordered this like nine weeks ago. So, not only are they not giving this, re re receiving things on uh, two weeks early or a week earlier or even on time anymore, it's just I'm getting things late. Um, but I think so far I've gotten most of my shit either on time or late at this point, so I'm, I should probably know, I should have known better than to expect it early or on time even. But anyway, I'm complaining about the same shit I always complain about, but I have no idea if they're planning on getting their shit together by the beginning of the year. I don't have anything else. I have one more thing, I think. Yeah, I think it's just, I have, um, Starman on pre-order, and I pre-ordered that even earlier than this, um... So I guess we'll see if I get it on time or later. I'm, I haven't even shipped yet, so I'm uh, assuming I'm going to get it late. But whatever. Who cares, right? Here is Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 2. Um, I actually... Do I have it? Yeah, I do have it over here. I was going to watch it the other night. I'll probably watch it this weekend. I have Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 1 here. Or just Silent Night, Deadly Night. And I got this last year. Was that, was that last year? I think it was last year. 2017? I guess it doesn't fucking matter. Well, who cares, right? I think it was last year. But, um, this was a two-disc. Then read a version, theatrical version. I think this is just a one-disc. But I thought this was a pretty, pretty fun movie. Um, I'd never seen it before after watch, before watching it. Um, uh, and I think this is a continuation. I'll have to read it in the background. How about I open it up? But anyway, I got the movie finally. And I got the poster, um, in this nice... Maybe I'll do that first, actually. I've been doing that first recently. Once they they changed their um, methods or something like that. And actually, I don't know if I can... I try to show you guys here. I don't know if you can see very well. You can kind of see in there, but it is not wrinkled at all from this end anyway. So whatever they did or whatever they were doing before this, they were just... I don't know if they had just hired labor or whatever, but whatever they were doing before they revamped was just people throwing them into the tubes. And they can clearly do better than that. And let me see. Because that just looked just fine to me. So here is the poster. I did not get the poster for the first film, so it's kind of lame that I only got this one. But um, for a, I'm guessing, inferior film. I, I read a, a couple reviews, a quick review about this, and it sounds like this film is not pretty good. But uh, I don't care. I thought the cover art looked good, and the synopsis sounded funny. I also, doing research for this, or, you know, just finding out more about it, I didn't realize that there were four sequels, so five films total in this series. Or is there six? Maybe it's six. I don't know. But I, I had no idea there were that many. I actually didn't even know there was a second one. But um, it shows what I know, so. Actually, I'll open it up here quick so I can actually get this without glare. And is this double wrap? It is double wrap. That's right. They do that sometimes with the with the, um, the slip covers. The slip cover looks looks good. I think it's got actually. I can see if there's got some creasing up there, and there's actually some discoloration up there, which I mean I'm not going to complain too much from, but it's got whatever. Who cares? And it's actually wrapped on the inside too, and it's got that same. Um, different case that I don't like so much. I don't know how to describe it. It's like a vortex case. It's it feels um, cheaper. It's probably it pro it's probably eco friendly. It uses less plastic most likely, but it doesn't feel as sturdy, which would make sense if they're using less plastic. I don't know how to I'll just describe it. It feels very very flimsy. Yeah, it is one disc, but that's fine. Um, let's take a look at the other outside art here. Yeah, that's the artwork I saw a lot of online. I kind of like that, too. <clears throat> Is that right? That works, yeah. Silent Night, Deadline Part 2. Nightmare is about to begin again. I think it's the same. Oh, it is different. Well, slightly different. Let's take a look at this as there's no glare. It's garbage day. Ricky is being released from a mental hospital. And Ricky, I believe, yep, 
Yeah, but is, his, is the younger brother of Billy. He takes with him the terrifying memory of his brother Billy's death and the memory of Mother Superior, who brought about his mother's, de brother's demise. For Ricky, starting a new life means avenging his brother's death, which sets him on a blind journey to, of relentless revenge, leading ultimately to Mother Superior. And when he gets to her, not even her faith will be enough to stop Ricky as he follows in the family tradition of Christmas Carnage. And it looks like there's a lot of new features on here. There's a new 2K scan. A new audio commentary with writer-director Lee Harry and actors Eric Freeman and James Newman. New Sleigh Bells Ring Again, The Story of Silent Netherland Part 2, featuring interviews with covered the same people, it looks like. The cast and crew. New Garbage Days are here again to look at the film's locations. New Ricky Today, a short film featuring a 2018 interview with Ricky Caldwell. A uh, new I Don't Sleep, an extended interview with makeup effects artist Crystal Biggs, audio commentary with Lee Harvey, uh, Lee Harry, excuse me, co writer Joseph E. Earl, H. Earl, and um, James L. Newman, and Tackle Trailer. Cool. 1987, this was 1984, I think? Yeah, so three years later. That's cool. It is. <clears throat> Plus or minus 88 minutes, which seems a little short. How long was... Well, actually, it's longer than... Well, hold on. The theatrical cut was actually less than that, 79 minutes, and the unrated cut was 85. So even with the unrated, it's actually... This was shorter than this, so that's funny. Let's take a look here at... Um, yes, again, although I guess it's the same. I already showed you that, but um, it's just... Wait, hold on. Not that artwork. It's the same as the front artwork here. But yeah, I wish I could convey this more. I mean, you can kind of see a little bit. It's got that same look to it. The um, It just seems flimsy, which, I mean, it's not that big a deal. But um, just a little annoyed. Like, I don't know if I can show you the difference here in, in cases. Um, uh, you can't really tell. This It just feels, this feels different. There's a sturdiness to this that I like more than this. This feels... It feels cheap. But that's... And I guess that's to be expected. So anyway. Like I said, I haven't seen the film, so I'm looking forward to watching it. I might do a double feature over the holidays here. I'm going to have some extended time off. Obviously, everyone is. Or most people are. And I'm looking forward to watching this film again, because I only watched it the one time, and I have never seen this one, so I might do a double bill at some point in the future. I'm not doing here. Is this gonna work? It's not gonna work. Is it? Okay, it's gonna work. Cool. So yeah, I'm excited to watch uh, the second, the sequel. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Um, this has been a quick little unboxing. Like I said, I've got a couple more. Um, I, well, I got one more. Um, Screen Factory on order. I actually don't think there's anything else released that I really want. I would. I'm gonna get the critter set at some point. Hopefully, it doesn't go out of print or anything. That would piss me off. But um. 50 or $59 or whatever it was on Amazon, and then on the site itself was around 55 or whatever. I just thought that was too much for critters. Per personally, I didn't think so. Um, uh, I'm looking for more like 40 40 or less. If I could get it for the critter stuff for $30, that'd be fucking amazing. But um, I, I couldn't do it at 55 50 plus, so I'm rambling. Um, that's it for this video. I will talk to you guys later. There's a couple more before Christmas still coming here. Um, there's a bunch of releases coming out next week. And I might have some of those for you on Monday, Tuesday, or later next week. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll talk to you later, and bye.